going to go over today how to use the DX Trade platform, at least as far as I have discovered so far. It's mainly geared towards those who have been using MetaTrader 4 or 5, and depending on your circumstances, you may have been switched to DX Trade. Won't go too many into too many details about that, and we'll just get right into it. So, um, most of it is pretty straightforward. When you first get on, on the top left, it'll have your watch list section, uh, the positions, order, order history uh, area on the bottom left, and then it'll probably have one chart. I just added a second one here for myself. Um, so first, I'll start on the top left with the watch list. Pretty straightforward. When you first get on, it'll probably have um, a list of everything. If you ever want to um, edit your watch list, it'll probably be like this when you first get on. But it's pretty straightforward. Click create your own, name it whatever you want. Um, CFDs. And then you start looking for the symbols that you want to add. Then you click on the symbol and it adds it in. Pretty straightforward. And now you have your list. And now let's say if you have two charts up and you want to quickly just add another one to the same screen, just right click, view chart and then it'll bring up the other chart. One thing that I do like about uh, DX Trade compared to MT4, MT5 is you can pre-configure a stop loss or take profit. So if you're a trader like me that has a pre-fixed amount, uh, pip-wise or point-wise, depending on the trade, you can simply come in here and then let's say your, your stop loss would be 20 pips or and take profit 50 pips, you would apply. So now if you get into a market order or limit order or whatever it may be, it'll already have those settings saved, ready to go. So you don't have to get in and then add in take profit and stop loss. It's just good to go. You know it's active when it has that ye little yellow line there. It is not there that means it is not active so like I mentioned pretty straightforward for the watch list section and then uh, down here for positions I'll actually open up a position for the sake of this tutorial let's do it on Bitcoin let's just bring this down to one and let's just sell market and let me actually show in a quick example. Let's do, yeah, 500, 500. Let's apply that. Let's sell. And like I mentioned earlier, it'll already have it ready to go. It'll tell you how much margin you're using. And if you, you know, there's order screen, limit, OCO, stop, whatever you want to do, the lot size. And then it'll also tell you on this screen the projected loss dollar wise and the percent of the account in pips or you know balance wise whatever you want to do so send the order and now the order is placed we see we're filled here if it has if it says plus sltp that means that your stop loss and take profit is set into the trade so you already know that you're already protected. You can also confirm on the position side down here, it'll tell you the symbol, position ID, date and time, the, if you're long or short, and then your fill price, and then your stop loss and take profit. That way you can confirm that it's also set up here and vice versa. If you want to quick uh, quickly close the position, you could always go down here to the positions tab, close position, and then it'll tell you right there. You can also modify it. So let's say you want to modify your take profit or stop loss, and you can do it by price, by pips, you know, whatever works best for you. So I want to take, I 
want to move it to a thousand modify then their trade is modified it'll tell you your use margin and all that other stuff down here your current price your PL, whether that's open or closed it'll also be up here in the balance screen the margin you're using and all that stuff so if we want to close the trade like i mentioned close close position and then trade is closed pretty straightforward now on the chart screen right over here we have our time frames you can switch to i don't believe there's a way to make a custom time frame i could be wrong if anybody has figured that out please put it down in the comments because i usually use a two minute time frame for specific setups and can't really do that here and then of course your candle types if you want a line bar or candles you can do that there this is just uh you know if you just want no crosshair on the chart if you want the crosshair and then if you want it with the floating box of going around or if you want the box fixed and then your crosshair in a different area this specific tool here not a hundred percent sure what that is probably have to look at the faq for dx trade from themselves then right here you have your drawing tools trend lines price line text fibs all that stuff this little magnifying icon this is pretty much if you want to of course you can zoom in if you have like a mouse you can scroll wheel in and out uh, but if you want to zoom in on a specific area you will press the little magnifying glass and then just zoom in so now you have these specific candles and then of course you can zoom all the way back out if you want to or just press the zoom out goes back to default right here you have your indicators if you guys do use that you can add them here here we have your settings if you want to show the grid and other options fit orders all that other stuff the colors if you want to change the colors on your chart so with this specific section pretty straightforward and then uh, this plus sign would just add um, different things. So like if you want to add orders, it'll switch that box. Or rather, it, it wouldn't really switch the box, but it'll add something to that specific section. So you can have different things here. Similarly here, let's say I have a chart. Add another chart so now I can quickly flip be between two different charts if I wanted. If we go uh, right above here under the uh, your my account section and your tools, there's another plus sign. This will be for your workspace. So this whole thing here is your workspace. So if you go here, hit plus, it'll come up with an empty workspace. And then now we can start adding things. So we have, let's say we want to add a chart. And then let's say I want to have four charts or even what's the max? I've only ever done four. Yeah, you can add a bunch of different charts, customize it however you want. One thing to note after you've gotten your workspace and everything is good to go on the top right, I believe it'll be right here, this little icon. You can save the layout as whatever you want. So that way the layout will be saved. So in the event anything ever does happen, I'm not sure, if, haven't used that for too long and experienced any issues. But if anything did happen, you can just load your layout and all your settings will be there ready to go. And then right here, if you have multiple accounts, you can click this arrow, it'll bring up your different accounts. Of one click trading I believe similarly to other platforms with one click instead of me let's say clicking sell when it brings up this order screen 
it'll simply just get me in immediately. And we'll actually try that out for this example. Yep, accept the terms, just so they know. And letting you know for sure if you want to activate it. So that if you click one click, it immediately gets me in the trade. It already has my preconceived prof uh, stop loss and take profit. So you don't have to bring it up, then get then you know place the order again and go through that headache. So you can immediately get in if that's what you're looking to do. And then as you saw right there, I just hit close order. It immediately got me out without bringing up that screen again. So you can get in and out uh, pretty quick that way. So that's all I've pretty much learned. Actually, one last thing. And of course, right here, you can edit your lot sizes. You could also type it in, you know, whatever you want. So that's as far as I've gone myself uh, when I'm trading. So if you've learned anything new, definitely let me know in the comments below. Anything that I may have missed or that could be improved that you guys have experienced. If you are new to the platform and use it a little more than I have, definitely let me know below and I will talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching.